Hello. 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 We're back. We're back with a special guest too. Uh, Kelly Mejia, an expert in all things trade shows. So uh, uh, Kelly is an account coordinator who is amazing. Yes. And today we're going to talk about ordering um, labor, installation and dismantle labor. Uh, we'll kind of start with the basics, maybe then jump a little bit to if you don't use your show contractor's labor, what that means. But we won't cover everything but we'll try to give you the basics. So, let's start with Kel. We pulled up a Freeman installation and dismantle labor form today. What are some important things that we need to know? Well, first you have to fill out obviously the top part so that they know your booth number and your company name. All the contact information is extremely important because if something happens on site, they're gonna contact you. Sorry. Um, and then secondly, you need to figure out how many hours it's going to take for your booth to be set up. And you need to figure out if it's on straight time or overtime or double time. So you could ask the experts who, at your trade show exhibit company, um, or if you've already done a, a show or someone in your company has done the show, you definitely want to find out um, how long they anticipate it's going to take. Right. And when the installation and dismantle dates are, are obviously pretty important. Which is based on your target. Yes. We yes. covered target dates uh, yes. with uh, shipping um, the other day. So what about straight time and overtime? There's a huge or difference time. in straight time different uh, in overtime and double time. Huge. So as much as possible, you want to try and do it on straight time, but you also want to give yourself a little bit of a cush because in case you do run into problems, you've got a little bit of area that you can work the next day or work a few hours of overtime if needed. So you really don't want to push it if you don't need to. So straight time would be Ideal. Monday through Friday. Yep, eight to five. Eight to five. Overtime could be five to eight on a Monday through Friday though. That's right. And weekends are typically? They are typically anytime Saturday or Sunday. And a lot of times double is time OT. is on Sunday. And double time can be Sunday. Holidays too. Holidays are double time. No, boy, no holidays. Yeah. I'm doing one of those coming up. Uh, yeah. Okay. It's expensive. So uh, what else would be a key to, when can you use, when don't you not have to use labor, Kelly? Um, you cannot use labor uh, in any show that re doesn't require you to use tools or a ladder. That's the union rule. So if you had a pop-up, a little 10 by 10, you didn't have to hire someone if you didn't no. want to. No. But you could. You could. Absolutely you could. So what if I had a 20 by 20 and I had a toolless booth, but it was still going to take me six hours and I was in Vegas? Do I have to order labor? Pretty much. Okay. Yes. Yes. Vegas, if in doubt, order Vegas, labor. Yes. Vegas, Vegas is a tricky one, as are most of the large what we call union cities so yes they can be very tricky so one thing we should probably address Kelly is that uh, you don't have to hire the show labor necessarily we quite often don't some cities we do and some shows we might but we tend to contract with outside companies what would be the advantage to contracting with a labor company not associated with in this case Freeman um, the other day it was GES we were showing. Mm -hmm. uh, what would be the advantage or disadvantage to hiring an outside company to do it? Well, the advantage is that we hire professional laborers who are not pulled in literally off the street because that is a risk that you take going to a large show is that they literally pull people off the street that have no experience, they don't have any tools, they don't have the supplies that they need. Um, so if you hire our professional team that we use all over the country, then first of all, you have consistent labor, you have the tools that are needed, you have a lead guy that's responsible, you know who that person yeah. is, you have contact information, if something goes wrong, you know who to call. And, and she's saying hours, but in, in, you really it's the, you know, nth degrees momentum. So now there's a lot okay. of different labor sure. companies uh, in different uh you know, sure. in different cities that we hire um, for our clients. So they could hire them directly too. Yes, they can. Yeah. Um, that's not ideally how they like to work, but yes, that is 
that is possible. They but, like to go through us just simply because then they have a point of contact from the exhibit house yeah. that knows the booth, knows the design, knows the build. So, I mean, I can get calls at any time, day or night, from show floors all across the country or in the world. So it, it kind of makes sense because if you're hiring a company that only does labor and they don't do everything else that a big giant Freeman, for example, does, which is the whole show itself, you're getting someone that's dedicated to their craft. So they have supervisors, they have managers, they're engaged when you have problems. Exactly. You have people to contact, you're not in the big cog, which would be the show management. Um, what about dismantles? Is there any uh, anything to really discuss on dismantles? Besides dismantles typically take at least half the time that it takes for something to go up. Right. That's generally the, the rule is whatever it takes to go up, you do half of it coming down. Coming down. But you have to pay attention again to the overtime, the double time, the and, straight time. And what if you're an exhibitor who wants to hire them and then just take off and leave after the show and not necessarily babysit your exhibit on the way out? Um, There's a couple options that you have. You can um, have one of us be out there to supervise it. You can... Um, obviously use our labor company which is highly recommended if you're not going to be there and you have equipment that's going to be there um, you need to have somebody that's skilled knows what they're doing um, is in contact with us constantly to know where the stuff needs to go if there's any problems mm -hmm. where it's being packed so i know when it comes back where it's at so i can immediately get it back if you're going to hire the Freemans or the GESs of the world, there's no guarantee that that stuff's going to end up where it needs to be or even in the shipment. It, For all we know, it can get left behind. And that does happen quite often. So we try to just hire our good labor and not use the Freemans and GESs of the world. So if you're watching this and you still are confused, Follow the steps the best you can. Fill out all the information. Send it to, the, would you recommend just send it to Freeman mm -hmm. in this case. Sure. Call them up. Have them walk you through it. Double check your work. Uh, better off to do that prior to getting to the show than getting there and realizing you don't have the right labor. You don't have the right amount of people. Right. You haven't picked the right time. You're not at the right rate. Because um, it gets more expensive to find all that stuff out at On the site. show. Right. right. Yep. Everything has to be done before the deadline. The ordering deadline. Give us a boom. Boom! Have a great day. <laughs>